Hey everyone, welcome back to the North Dakota Teaching Podcast. If you're new here, this podcast is all about supporting first year teachers during their first year of teaching. But as always, we welcome all educators, whether you're student teaching or you've been teaching for a while. So if you haven't done so, there are two teaching guides in the show notes today. One is for student teachers and one is for first year teachers. Each guide is filled with tips that are going to help you rock your student teaching and your first year of teaching. As we've been kicking off 2021, I know I shared with you that we were switching things up a little bit on the podcast. Instead of interviewing first year teachers, we're going to be taking a few weeks to do episodes that are timely and filled with helpful tips and insight, especially for new teachers. For this week's episode, I wanted to take a little bit of time and just write an open letter to you. These are some thoughts that I've had on my mind for the past few weeks, and I knew I just needed to get them out so that you would know how I'm feeling as well. So I'm excited to share all of this with you, and I will see you inside of today's episode. Welcome to the North Dakota Teaching Podcast. Whether you're a first-year teacher, veteran teacher, or just a mom trying to gain some new insights, you are right where you are meant to be. Kayla Durkin, founder of the Blossoming Teacher Course, is passionate about helping new teachers blossom into the teacher they were born to be. Kayla wants to help inspire teachers to be their best self, whether that means sharing about personal or professional development, self-care, or the latest and most effective teaching strategies. Through this podcast, you will hear from real teachers sharing their stories about teaching, all with one main goal in mind, to be able to make an impact and help other teachers blossom. And with that, here is your host, Kayla Durkin. Welcome back, everyone. This episode today is a little bit of a teacher truth, and it's all about being fearless in 2021. For today's episode, I'm just going to read a letter that I wrote to you. So to whoever is listening right now, I'm just going to cut to the chase before I chicken out. Have I told you my one word yet? It's fearless. If I'm being honest, I haven't been very fearless lately. As much as I smile and keep on keeping on, there are a lot of things that I fear. Are you ready to hear a few? I fear failure. I fear I'm not making an impact. I fear I'll never be determined enough to run a half marathon. I fear that someone is going to break into our home. I fear that I'm not approachable. I fear that Brent and I won't be able to have a baby. I fear that I'm going to say the wrong thing at the wrong time. And I also fear that there are teachers listening right now who feel lost and alone. Aside from telling my husband these fears, I've never said any of these to anyone else before. But that's part of being fearless this year. I always say that you need to be authentically you. And sometimes being authentic also means being vulnerable. If I keep fearing failure, I won't be able to put myself out there. I won't be able to make an impact. I won't be able to help teachers feel confident and capable. And a big thing is that I won't be able to help you. Yes, you, the person that's listening right now, you are the reason why I'm here. You're the reason why I spend countless hours each week writing blog posts, recording and editing podcasts just like this one, trying to post meaningful content on social media. You are the reason why I go live on Facebook every single Sunday. Without you, none of this would matter. Without teachers just like you, our students would suffer. Of course, I want to be fearless in my personal life, but I also want to be fearless as the face behind North Dakota teaching. I want to be fearless so that I can live out God's purpose. In December of 2019, God placed it on my heart to trust him, to trust his plan. I spent all of 2020 living out that word trust. If we take a few steps back, you might remember that I told you in the fall of 2019, I felt helpless for all of the first year teachers who are posting defeating posts on social media. Every post I read said something along the lines of, College didn't prepare me for this. I didn't know it would be this hard. I have no idea how to balance all of this. College wants everyone to have a well-rounded education, which in theory sounds great, until you have 25 little humans in front of you who each need you to meet their needs socially, academically, and emotionally. 
25 human beings who need your individual attention, who carry more trauma than you were ever trained on, who have parents who simply just don't care. And let's not forget about the paperwork, the standard-based grading, differentiation, calls home, organization, meetings, oh, and trying to fill a classroom full of supplies with flexible seating, books, and every other item needed to have a classroom that feels safe, warm, and welcoming. God put it on my heart that there was a need for first-year teacher support, and as much as I tried to suppress that feeling, I couldn't. So in February of 2020, I went all in. I took a major risk and I purchased an alarmingly scary and expensive course so that I could learn everything I possibly could about running this online business. Then I made an even scarier purchase and I purchased a one-year subscription for a platform that would allow me to host and store content, send emails and everything else needed so that I could serve teachers just like you. When I tell you that I was trusting in God's plan, I really was. I went all in. I gave it everything I could plus more. In 2020, I took a lot of risks. I launched the Blossoming Teacher course for the first time. I coached first-year teachers for the first time. I did Facebook and Instagram Lives for the first time. 2020 was a wild ride that I will forever be grateful for. But now, it's time to be fearless. As scary as 2020 was, 2021 scares me even more. I'm all in now, and that's a scary thing. I don't want to let you down. I don't want you to feel unseen or unheard. I don't want you to have to pretend that you're okay all of the time. I know God's purpose for my life is to help teachers feel confident and supported, to help teachers know that they aren't alone, to help teachers find systems and processes that will make their lives easier, to let teachers know that it's okay to not be okay, to let teachers know that it's okay to leave their teacher bag at school, to let you know that it's okay to have a life outside of the classroom, and to let you know that who you are as a person matters too. If you made it here, if you're still listening, 2021 is our year. Let's be fearless and let's take on this year together. If you take anything away from today's message, please know that I am always just a message away. I know you're listening to this on your favorite streaming device right now, but I am here to help you however I can. Pull up your Instagram, pull up your email. As long as you're not driving, let me know how I can help you. Just as I always told my students, you are loved, you are important, and you matter. No matter what kind of day you've had, I want to hear about it. I want to celebrate your highs and I want to listen to your lows. I want to cheer you on when you're trying something new and I want to hear about those lessons that maybe just didn't go as planned. I want to support you in any capacity that I possibly can. You are why I'm being fearless and vulnerable and you are why I keep pushing on even when I feel like I want to give up. You, the person who is listening right now, you are the reason why I am here. So thank you so much for being along on this journey with me. Thank you so much for trusting in me to help you along the way. And please, please, please know I am truly always just a message away. I care about you. You matter to me. And who you are as a person is important. So please don't feel afraid to reach out to me, to send me a message. Let's chat. Let me help you walk through that problem you're going through. Let me be just a listening ear if things aren't going your way. I am here to help you however I can. Thank you so much for listening to this letter and letting me be vulnerable today. 2021 is truly our year. I'm all in and I'm ready to be fearless together. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the North Dakota Teaching Podcast. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. We really appreciate that effort. Be sure to tune in to the next episode for more teaching tips to make an impact. Until next time.